All right, I got the rest of the inside of the car wired up. Um, basically, I got my vacuum uh, boost hose here that goes in and plugs in under the DB37s here. The DB37 comes around to the input side of these terminal blocks. One, two, three. I uh, got them all labeled here. Injector one, injector one. Those will connect up together inside the ECU. But those uh, wire into pins one, four, three, and two um, of the fuel injectors so they're each wired separately if I ever want to go to sequential fuel injection same goes for spark I've got um, just two spark outputs on this um, and then they run back here so uh, that'll be cylinders uh, I believe it's one and four and two and three uh, they get fired together uh, I got my fuel pump relay wire uh, it grounds the fuel pump relay and the auto shutdown relay um, some cars don't have an auto shutdown relay I believe but mine does um, 12 volt in here comes in and uh, that powers the microcontroller and some of the other stuff uh, intake air temperature I've got a signal wire and ground I went ahead and grounded the shield you don't need shielded wires on these but uh, I went ahead and used them because that's what I had so I utilized the shield by grounding it on the source end um, up to here at least coolant temperature sensor um, let's see what else uh, I got my fast idle broken out down here, but I'm not going to be using it. Uh, these sensor return lines just go to ground, uh, essentially, but it's important that you ground them here and not on the engine block. Uh, you can see the good grounding practices on the MS Extra site if you're interested in that. Um, the crank position, I send a 5 volt reference separate from the crank position wire. The crank position wire is shielded. I use some old microphone cable. It's really nice, actually. Um, grounded the shield on the source end um, this is the signal coming back to the mega squirt system um, the shield does stop here but I hope to not have any issues with that um, for grounding used a 10 gauge uh, black ground wire basically soldered it up to these I made sure I got a nice good solder joint there split it out came over to this ground bus here uh, most of these top pins are ground not all of them but these few here are something else uh, see what else uh, sensor return for the throttle position sensor um, signal from the throttle position sensor and a 5 volt reference out to the throttle position sensor um, get a couple extra inputs here or input slash output um, spare one is going to be launch control for me spare two is going to be flex fuel or table switch I don't know if I'm going to do that with a switch or a knob or whatever or an actual flex fuel sensor but I'm going to try to play with E85 so that'll be used for that I've got my IAC stuff here uh, intake air control uh, stepper motor so that's why there's four of these wires here um, this wire goes to the driver's side kick panel one of the reason I put that in there is because I needed my wideband O2 which was already coming down from uh, the A pillar over there so I ran it around the back of the, the firewall inside the car and I just left some spares because that's the cable I had so if I need to run my clutch switch over here I can run it in here and jumper it over to the uh, launch control input or move the launch control or whatever so um, I think that's about it um, if I didn't say it already, um, these wires all terminate back to um, each individual sensor. The ground is grounded to the engine block and to the battery. Um, boost control I'm, I haven't installed yet, but it's just hanging as a pigtail ready for me to use it. And uh, that should be about it for inside the car wiring.